Hi everyone. Hi guys. Can you just let me know if you can see me and hear me okay? Hi guys. Hello from Peru. Hi. Hello everyone. Okay, you can hear me and see me good. All right. Well, I'm Shannon Howig, and I'm on the Prima design team. And today we're gonna make this beautiful altered heart. And I used um, Prima's Darcel collection for this. It's gorgeous with the dark tones, the blues and the reds. So I think we'll go ahead and get started in just a second. Okay, so I had to go ahead and do a few things ahead of time. So I'm going to show you what I did already. So this was the heart that I started with. It's just a wooden heart. It was cut out in the middle. And so I decided... I wanted to um, put a piece of the beautiful Darcel paper behind that. So let me just show you the paper quickly. This is the A4 pad of the Darcel collection. And it's a really, really beautiful collection. Look at that. I love that dark blue. And we have that sign. And we have this gorgeous page. I cut out some of the fl florals on here. I fussy cut a few. And I love, it's really kind of a vintage-y collection. It's really beautiful. I love this page. It has so many amazing quotes on it. Really cute. And then again on this page, it has some lacy florals on the side and I cut out a few of those leaves to add to my project. Another great page that you can cut out. I also cut out some of the florals from this page. Aren't those typewriters so cute? I love them. And then we have this beautiful page here. And then this is the page that I chose for my background, as you can see. And then this, oh, I just love this page. It's so beautiful. That color is amazing. And so that is the Darcel collection. And it comes with a lot of fun embellishments that we're going to use and some gorgeous flowers. But we'll get to those um, as we go along. Okay, 
so what I did was I cut out this paper from the A4 collection. I traced the heart, cut it out, and I put a coat of clear gesso on. I usually always do that with my paper. Um, a lot of times at the beginning of a project, I'm not sure, you know, what kind of mediums I'm going to use. So I always want to protect my paper. And this will stop, you know, uh, colors from bleeding or seeping through. And then I also traced um, out a piece of chipboard to make that back a little sturdier because I knew I was going to glue some embellishments on the front and that paper just wasn't going to be strong enough to hold everything. So I just, again, traced that out on a little piece of chipboard. You could use cardboard, use up some of that, um, those boxes you get from all the packages you order. <laughs> and then I just um, glued that on with some 3D matte gel. So that is nice and sturdy. I like to use 3D matte gel because if it seeps through at all, I can wipe it up with a paintbrush. And because it's matte, it's not going to show up. If you're using like a glossy glue, it's going to show on your paper. So, um, and I also took, um, this is the Frank Garcia Memory Hardware Parisian Art Shutters. And I also put, um, I dry brushed a little white gesso on this. And I don't know if I said I gave this heart about two good coats of the white gesso and then I added crackle paste and I did that ahead of time because it takes you should let crackle paste dry naturally um, some of you who live in drier climates um, might be lucky and it dries quickly for you for me I usually have to let it dry overnight so um, I wanted to go ahead and do that ahead of time so I just want to show you some of those amazing crackles. Hope you can see. And I even let it go over on the paper a little bit. And I put some down here. And over here. And the heavier you put the paste, the bigger crackles you'll get. And the thinner you put it, the smaller crackles you'll get. And so then I just decided to add a little of the crackle paste to the shutters as well. I love this. I use these for everything. Um, they work great with the three by four journaling cards, which we're also gonna use today. Um, it probably wasn't necessary for me to put some on the back because we're gonna cover that up, but I did anyways. So, um, let's see. So this is the Darcel uh, journaling note cards, the three by four. And this is what I used for my quote. There's a lot of really cute um, quotes in here. Live, love, laugh. Maybe I should use a different quote this time. I put, whatever you are, be a good one for this one. Should we use a different one for this one? Kind of like the live, love, laugh. Maybe I'll do that. You think? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we put a different quote? Stay focused and extra sparkly. We could use that one.
Maybe. Maybe I'll use this one today. Stay focused and extra sparkly. We'll do that. Okay. So um, with these, I always like to fray the edges. So I use the Prima Angville Balm Distressing Tool. I don't know if you can get this anymore. Um, it's still my favorite distressing tool, but a pair of scissors will work great too. So I'm just gonna make a mess here. <laughs> Distressing paper always makes a mess. How's everyone doing today? It got really warm here all of a sudden. I live in western New York and I think it's in the 80s today, which is, I guess, a little unusual. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I took a stamp and I love, this is my favorite stamp from Finnebear. Um, it's the Clear Stamp Gothic Book. And I love it. It's, um, I just like to add stamping to my projects. So I'm going to add some to the heart. And I'm going to use some black archival ink. You want to use archival ink if you are going to use um, any kind of watercolors or sprays on your project because if you don't use our archi archival ink, it's going to um, bleed when you add any water or anything to it. So I just kind of randomly go around. that space there is going to be covered up so I'll come back over here there I think that's good enough for that and then I did add some stamping to my um, shutters on the sides here. There. That's good. Do you guys like to just a lot of stamping on your mixed media projects. I just think it adds a lot of texture and interest. And then there's our shutters. Okay. 
Okay. And then let's go ahead and glue down our, um, our quote onto the shutters. And I like to take a piece of cardboard or foam or whatever you have and sometimes pop things up a little, give it a little dimension, and then you can also tuck things under there. So I'm gonna use a little Fabri-Tac. My, um, my adhesive of choice is 3D Match Out by Finnebar. But since we're live, this will dry pretty quickly, so I'm just going to use this. Now I'm going to ask your opinion. When I made this, I used the Art Philosophy Concentrated Watercolors, which are amazing to work with. Um, I used Rust on the, um, the shutters, and I used this Aegean on the heart. Now, after I completed this project and we're our own worst critics I looked at this and I didn't like how that looked more turquoise and I had navy here and it just bugged me but I really do love the color and I love how it looks with the white and the burgundies of the paper so you let me know should we use this blue again on the heart or should we use the rust Maybe the rust would give it a little more vintage -y feel. This is an amazing color. I really do love it. I just don't know if I love it with everything else. So let me know. What, sh what color should we use on the heart? The rust or the blue? Rust. Yeah, I think so, too. I think you guys are right. Okay, I see a lot of rust votes coming in, so we're going to do that. And don't get me wrong, this is an amazing color, and I love it. I just, after I made this, I looked at it, and you know how sometimes you just feel like something's not right on your project, and I just wasn't crazy about that shade of blue with the rest of the project so we'll go ahead and just use the rest and these are concentrated watercolors but it's important to note that they are archival um so when they dry they're going to be permanent which is you know important to know because usually when you work with watercolors you know you can dry them and then if you add water again you know, that color is going to come back to life. And with this, that's not going to happen. So what I like to do, I <clears throat> use the packaging from this, um, these shutters. And let's see, I'm going to get a paper towel so I don't make a mess. And I'm going to shake this up a little. And this is so nice. It comes with a nice dropper. <clears throat> I'm just going to put a couple drops in here.
And I'm gonna take <clears throat> one of my Finnabar paint brushes. I love this set. Um, it's a set of seven paint brushes and there's all different um, sizes and there's flat and round brushes that come with the set. And I have my handy dandy water. So I'm just gonna add the color around where I have the crackles. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water here. Pick up some of that. And look, I don't know if you can see how quickly that just went into all the cracks. It's beautiful. Spray it again. And I always keep baby wipes around when I'm working with color. Set Sorry for the noise. Yes, I'm much happier with the brown. I think it just goes with the collection better. It gives it a much more vintage look. So then I'm gonna spray a little water down here and do the same thing. You really just need a very little of this watercolor. on my paper but because I put some clear gesso down it saved most of it which I really I don't care if color went a few places it's just going to add to the vintage look Look at how beautiful that's looking already. So I'm just gonna go up here where I have the last of the crackles. And add some more. Does everybody love crackle paste? When I first started mixed media, it was my absolutely favorite thing to use. I used it on everything.
There, look at that. Wow, I'm so much happier with this rust color. Just gives it such a beautiful, beautiful vintagey look. Beautiful. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit to the sides of my shutter where I um, put some crackle paste. I'm just gonna put a little water down. enough the little bit of color I have left here. All right, we'll give it a quick dry and then we are done adding the color. There we go. So we really have the um, hard parts down. Now all we have to do is glue this on and add some florals. And look, I just want you guys to see the difference. I really do love the brown on this one. Do you guys prefer the brown, the rust? I think it's pretty and we're going to add some you know it's not going to stay so um one color we're going to add a bunch of flowers so let's see <clears throat> um i'm going to add this flower down here and this came from this pack um, let's see, it's 644451. And I think these are called recollections, these flowers. Gorgeous flowers. Oh wait, you know what? That is the wrong one. Out of this pack, I took this one, and that's our main focal that's going to go over here. Let me find. This is the one that I took this one out of that's going to go here. And out of this pack, I also took the butterfly 
and this little guy and this flower and these little berries and so this is six four 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 one three and these are called glamorous moment sorry Natalie I mix those up by the way we have the wonderful Natalie moderating for us today she always does such an amazing job so let's see I want to get this glued on so I want to kind of figure out my placement here with this flower I kind of smushed it up against here and then I also took one of the fussy cut papers, kind of stuck that under there. So I think if we glue this about here, that, that should be good. So. I'm going to cheat again and use the Fabri-Tac, but I do recommend using 3D matte gel or, um, or heavy body gel. I'm just using this for time, time constraint purposes. on there. I'm going to clean up some of the excess glue on the side here. down this little fussy cut flower. I know a lot of times we add things that you can't, that don't show up as much in mixed media, but I always feel like every little thing you add just adds a little bit of something to your project. And this will kind of hold up that shutter too. There. Checking to make sure no glue is leaking out. We're good. All right, why don't we take care of this area up here? Now, since I had my focal point here and I built up a lot, it didn't want it to look unbalanced. So I just added um, a fussy cut um, flower and our butterfly over here. And then I added this cute little flower. Look at these flowers, the beading. So beautiful. Prima has the best flowers. I think everyone can agree. So I'm just going to do that. I am going to pop this up with just a little piece of cardboard. And just put 
don't line around here. And I always love to use a little cardboard or foam or foam dots or whatever just to give things dimension. And I like to fluff up my butterflies and my flowers. <clears throat> All right, just give a little glue there. Pop him down. I think I put another piece of cardboard under. Let me just grab that under that butterfly. To me, it looked like it was a little too close to that paper. So yeah, getting strings of glue. There, that's going to look better. Just a little bit of dimension, just so it's not laying directly onto that flower. And then we'll add this little guy on top. And again, I like to scrunch up my, my flower petals. And a good tip is if you want to make them a little sturdier or really get them to fluff up, sometimes I'll put a little bit of clear gesso on the petals and fluff it up and then let it dry and then it really dries with dimension. So we're just gonna add this to the middle of our butterfly. There. You guys, I'm loving this so much more than my first one. Thank you guys so much for helping me decide to use the brown. Okay, so next let's get our florals down here. Okay, the next one I'm gonna use is 644468, and this is Historic Moment. Aren't these gorgeous? These are um, fabric flowers. I'm gonna use this big one right here. And look how beautiful that is. I just love it. So I kinda, Tuck that under there a little bit, like that. There we go. All right. Let me see what else I used over here. I took these berries and glue them down over here. I 
don't know if I mentioned from this um, pack with the butterflies that I showed you earlier. I also took out this one. So that's going to go right there. And that blue one. So let's see. I also put a fussy cut flower tucked over here. just kind of played with these a little. I love these little berries that come on wire. You can make them dimensional. Come around. And then I cut out this beautiful floral. So I'm just going to stick that on top here. And then our big flower, I was going to set that on top there. How's everyone doing? You sticking with me? I don't have that much left to do. I promise I will be an hour today, Natalie. An hour or less. <laughs> I always run over. I am a not notoriously slow crafter. But I think we're doing good. I think, I think. Then we have these beautiful flowers. They are 644390. They're called Elegant Night. They're beautiful. They're just the perfect size. And I'm just going to take one of the, the navy blue ones and add it right here. I also had cut out um, a few leaves from that one floral page, so I'm going to stick one under there. I love these navy florals, and just wait till you see what we're going to do with them. It's going to make them really stand out. Right. 
Okay, then we have these flowers. They're 644444, and they're called Sweet Notes, and they're really cute. Um, they're, um, you get the cream, the burgundy, and the navy, and then you get a little pack of the small leaves. So I took just a few of these um, white ones, or cream, I should say. Let's see, I put one over here, one over here. I'll throw one over here. Actually, I think this one right here came from a different package of flowers. It came from these. 644499. I think I got that one out of there. getting these florals down so I can show you my cute little trick with the paint. Just kind of lifted up this piece here and tucked a flower under. one up a little. And then I think also <clears throat> from this pack that I just showed you, I got these two out of that I'm gonna put over here. And then the last pack of flowers I used was 644369, Memories Recovered. And I just took this little blue one out. I love <clears throat> that with every collection, we get so many different shapes and sizes of flowers. <clears throat> And all of those things just add to the beauty of our projects. Prima nose flowers, that's for sure. Okay, and then I think I just added this. So we have all our florals down, I believe. Okay. So quickly, I want to show you. <clears throat> Let's see. I need another piece of packaging. I'm going to take the um, Finnabar Art Alchemy acrylic paint, um, the Sparks paint, and Unicorn's hair. This is a gorgeous color. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna scoop a little bit out onto my packaging here. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna add some water to it. Mix it up. And I swear these uh, sparks are just magical. I love them. They're one of my favorite paints to use, especially um, I love putting them on my flowers. 
and you're going to see why. So I'm just going to spritz a tiny amount of water onto my flower. Oops, got a little bit too much there. And then I'm going to start putting down some of this watered down unicorn's hair. And it just looks so beautiful. And sometimes I'll spritz it again and just let it do its thing. Look at how pretty that looks. I mean, the flowers are beautiful to begin with, but adding just a touch of that Sparks paint just really brings them to life. Oops, I just noticed I never glued down <laughs> these. I'm trying to rush now because what do I have? Eight minutes? I don't know, Natalie. We'll see. I'm trying. So I just tucked one of these under there. this flower Don't you guys think that just looks so pretty to add a little bit of that Sparks paint to the flowers? Have you guys tried that before? Even on the cream flowers, it looks beautiful. Sorry for the heat tool. I know it's annoying. too much water on that one. I don't want to melt my butterfly underneath, so I'm going to let that one just kind of dry. <coughs> and then I just want to add a little to this flower here. Can 
you see how <clears throat> that shimmer, all of that shimmer on those flowers? I think it looks beautiful. <clears throat> so then the last few things that I added to my project were um, some of these sugar dots. These are a neat addition to this um, collection, the Darcel collection. These are 642044. And I just added a few here and there. Let's see. I'm going to put a butterfly over here. And a little heart over here. Just cute little touches, you know? You don't have to go overboard. You can add as much or as little as you want. <clears throat> I did also use some of the ephemera. In this collection had um, two different ephemera packs. This is the ephemera and stickers. So you get um, a pack of ephemera and then some stickers. And this is 642037. And out of this pack, all I took was this um, navy heart. I really liked this. And I just kind of stuck it back here. So I'll grab my glue. And it has so many cute ephemera pieces. You really need to check them out. And then in the next ephemera pack, it's 642020. I just used this little, I don't even know what it is, numbers, just to add a little something to the side here. But I just want to show you, it does have really cute images um vintage images like this um old car and it has typewriters and things like that there's a typewriter um, that car would kind of look cute and it would cover up my just move that butterfly. What do you think about the car on this one? Yay or nay? Ah, well, I guess we're, well, I didn't notice I got paint all over my ephemera, although it actually turned out pretty good just added on the bottom so I guess we'll use that piece since we got paint on it <clears throat> let me get the paint off my hands and remember to move these things out of my way just ask my husband I am the clumsiest person alive I don't know how many times I've dropped my cell phone. There, we'll just stick that there for now. I can always fix it up a little later. And the last thing, oh wait, two more things. <clears throat> I did use the puffy stickers from this collection. Oh, you want the type? You want the typewriter? I can't tell. Take it back, nay. I like the type piece better. The, ty uh, the, the typewriter? Okay. You want this off and the typewriter here? I don't know. 
Maybe we could stick it down here. There's another typewriter that has some words on it, if I can find it. Oh, look at this phone, too. Isn't that adorable? There's this typewriter that says, Wilds like the wind. Uh, but I kind of like this one. Okay, I'm confused. Some people, then you said, no, sorry, the last one, the numbers. So you do want the numbers? <laughs> numbers or typewriter? You guys are funny. The beautiful phone. <laughs> I do love that phone. Numbers, yes. Okay, we're just going to stick with the numbers. Sorry, guys. All right. <clears throat> the puffy stickers. These are really beautiful. A lot of cute um, choices here. I think I used that one on my first heart. And then maybe that heart right there. I don't think I'm going to overdo it with embellishments on this one. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to put those down. But I do want to put a few of the sand and crystals. I think these are just absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Look at those colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, I love this navy with the gold. We can put it right here since the quote says stay focused and extra sparkly. And we'll put that right there. And I'll take one of these. I'm not putting them in the same spots as last time. I feel like this one has a little bit different feel to it because we used the brown and so I think I'm gonna stop there and what time is it? 304 okay I almost did it Natalie almost so that is what we ended up with guys Yeah, the butterfly would look cute, too. I might play around, and if I add a few things, I'll post a picture. So this is what we started with, and this is what we did today. They're both beautiful, both just tiny bit different, but look at how just a little bit of a different color makes all the difference on a project. So I want to thank all of you for coming out and spending uh, the past hour with me. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> I hope you like uh, my project. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.